and nice to see you again. In this last video, we will help you check and consolidate some vocabulary and language. We will start with the prepositions of location that you studied. On, in, under, near, between, next to, on the right, on the left. We will continue with the connecting words and, but, because. Then we will play the opposites game. After, we will review the question words and their meanings. Finally, we will check how you can talk about things you do every time and things you are doing now, at this moment. Okay? Look at the screen on my right. Listen to the question. Where is the ball? The ball is in the box. The ball is on the box. The ball is under the box. Now, listen to the next question. Where is the sun? The sun is on my right. Where are the stars? The stars are on my left. Look at the pictures. Listen to the questions. Where is the dog? Right, it's near the tree. Where's the apple? Good, it's between the two boxes. And where's the girl? She stands next to the boy. Let's move to the next part. We are going to review when we use the words and, but, because in sentences. We use and, but, and because to connect words or short sentences. We call them connectors and linkers. Look and follow. Sarah has a big brother. Sarah has a little sister. We can join the two separate sentences with the connecting word and to get one sentence. Sarah has a big brother and a little sister. Example two. In my pencil case, I have got a blue pen. I have got a pencil. I have got a sharpener too. In this case, we have three sentences. We connect them by using a comma after sentence one and the word and after sentence two. So we get, in my pencil case, I have got a blue pen, a pencil and a sharpener. Now, it's your turn. Read the sentences, use and to connect them, or write one sentence. So we have, I play tennis on Sundays. Dad plays tennis on Sundays too. Are you ready to check your answer? Let's go. Dad and I play tennis on Sundays. Let's continue with but. Read these sentences. Tony is a good pupil. He is always late at school. Note, sentence two is the opposite of sentence one. A good pupil shouldn't be late at school. In this case, we use the connecting word but. So we get, Tony is a good pupil, but he is always late at school. Let's try another example. Mrs. Robson is a teacher. Jeff is a student. Mrs. Robson is a teacher, but Jeff is a student. It's your turn now to use the connector but. Sentence one, I can read English. Sentence two, I can speak it well. Join the two sentences using but. That's right. I can read English, but I can speak it well. Finally, we move to the connector because. Listen and follow. Example one. I drink a lot of water. Why? It's very hot. What's the connecting word we can use in this sentence? Great. It's the last one, of course. So, I drink a lot of water because it's very hot. We use because to give reasons for things. Why do you do this? Example two, I work so hard these days. Why? Because I have an exam. 
So the sentence is, I work so hard these days because I have an exam. One more example. The fish can't walk. Why? Complete the sentence. That's right. The fish can't walk because it hasn't got feet. There are more activities below to download and practice the connecting words. Now, let's have a break and play the opposites game. Okay? Let's start. Open the book, please. Close the book, please. The car is old. The car is new. The pencil is long. The pencil is short. The English books are similar. These books are different. The cat is white. The cat is black. The coffee is hot. The drink is cold. My hair is short. My hair is long. The man is fat. The boy is slim. I am tall. I am short. Do you want to continue? Let's go. Look at the screen and try to guess the opposites of these words. A boy. A girl. Day. Night. Go. Come. Stand up. Sit down. Late. Early. Before. After. Get up. Sleep. Sell. Buy. East. West. Start. Finish. No, we haven't finished. You have more activities below to download and practice the opposite words. At present, let's see the question words and their meanings. Who. We use who to ask about a person. For example, who is your teacher? Ms. Najwa is my teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. What. We use what to ask about a thing. For example, what do you study at school? I study English. Okay. When. We use when to ask about the time. For example, when do you watch TV? I watch TV in the evening. Where. We use where to ask about the place. For example, where does she live? She lives in France. Why? We use why to ask for a reason. For example, why are you late? I'm sorry I'm late. I lost my book. How many? We use how many to ask about a number. For example, how many students are there in your class? There are 30 students. Okay. How much? We use how much to ask about a price. For example, how much is your school bag? It's about 60 dinars. Okay. What color is or are? We use what color to ask about a color. For example, what color are your eyes? They are brown. How is the weather? We use how is the weather to ask about the weather. For example, how is the weather in the summer? In summer, the weather is very hot. Look at the screen. In this table, you can find all of these question words and how we can use them with examples. Now, let's move to the last part of this review lesson. We are going to talk about things that we do all the time and things we are doing now at this moment of speaking, right now. Let's see when we use and how we form these sentences. Activities I do all the time. Activities I'm doing now. Let's read the first sentence. Iman 
always wears the jeans and the t-shirt on school days. But Iman is wearing a pretty dress now. When we talk about our everyday activities, we use the present simple. In sentence one, we add S to the verb with she. We use she plus is plus verb plus ing to talk about activities I am doing now. He usually does his homework before dinner. Today, he is watching the football match. In sentence one, we add es to the verb with he. In sentence two, we use he plus is plus verb plus ing. I go to school by car. I am walking there with my friends right now. In sentence one, I use I plus verb. We know there is no change. In sentence two, we use I plus am plus verb plus ing. We use the same structure for the last example. I usually have a bath on Sundays. I am having a shower tonight. We hope the review will be helpful. Be confident and good luck. Goodbye. Bye.